Yes. Uh huh. And being the only fag in the family. And being the fag that the family relies on. Is this mine? Oh, she gave a sweet potato soup. Ooh, baby, that stomach gonna be. I, ooh. Mm, yeah, let me get let me get a fork. Uh, let me get a fork. Oh, and bring the hot sauce, please. Here go, Craig. Oh, it's down here. <laughs> no. Uh -uh. One moment, please. Mm -hmm. We're having a little fried fish and a little sweet potato souffle. Mm. Um. You want hot sauce? No, I'm okay. It's seasoned very well. It is. So we were talking about being gay. I'll let you. I'll let you lead in with this crazy. Okay. So we were talking about doing our taxes and all stuff. That's when the Jehovah's Witness came to my door. Da 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 da. And we were talking about. Well, let me go into this story. So what happened was, I was handling business one day. I was on the phone. I was taking care of some business. My mother called me on my cell phone. And when she called me, I let it go to voicemail because I was in the middle of taking care of something. And I said, I will call her right back. Well, before I could finish handling what I was doing, my aunt, my, my mom's sister, thanks. My mom's sister sent me a text and she said, Craig, it's very important. Call your mother back right away. Call her on her cell phone. So I didn't hung up my phone call. Now, mind you, I'm trying to handle some business. My heart is racing. I'm thinking my mother is on the way to the hospital. I'm thinking somebody is hurt. Like, I'm thinking somebody done died. Like, what is going on? I call my mother back, and I hear conversation and chatter in the background. And, you know, you just hear like a bunch of movement around. And I was like, hello, heart racing and shit, thinking something about to happen. Um, hey, Craig, um, I'm at the nail salon. Do you think you can sell the lady? Because I forgot my wallet. It's at the house. <laughs> I, I beg your pardon. <laughs> I just got off a very important phone call. My heart is now racing. My blood pressure is now soaring. And all you wanted to say to me was, could I sell the now my aunt now first of all let's let's break this down. My aunt could have sent that in the text instead of saying this was very important. She could have just simply said, Hey, your mom's at the nail salon, she's got a wallet, call her back. That's all she had to say. Now, mind you, my mother wasn't done service. Now I could see if she was finished with the service and she was about to walk out the door and she realized realized she didn't have the wallet, and that's urgent. Okay, call me right back because I gotta go. She was just sitting down. So I, there was plenty of time for me to call you back. When I tell you I got her and my aunt on the three-way later that night, I said, let me explain something to y'all. I said, no, I'm not mad. Yes, you were. I, was, I had cooled off a little bit. I had Because this was hours later. I had cooled off a little bit. I said, I'm not mad. I said, but don't, let, don't ever let that happen again. I said, let me explain to you what an emergency is. I said, important and urgent, somebody has died, somebody is on their way to death, somebody's in the hospital, like that's important. If it's not one of those things, don't call it important. So, here go my mother, well, wait a minute. I say, ain't no wait a minute, I just need you to listen and hear what I'm saying, because right now I'm not even interested in what y'all got to say. So I went on and zelled the lady the money, but it was just like, that was a lot of panic. And what we were talking about was how, as the gay in the family, and the most successful. What makes you think you're the most successful? What makes you think that, Greg? Think or no? Oh, that was quite prudish. <laughs> you have sisters and brothers. Wait, nobody thought your books were going to sell. And I then, know. And then you met a dragon. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and, and lit a fire to that. <laughs> and, and then you met a dragon. And lit a fire to them book sales. So, 
as the as the as the only gay in the family, uh, especially when you don't have children, you're often the one that they call on for the most, right? Um, and I, it got to the point where my mom she used to call me, "Hey, could you email such and such?" I said, "Ma, call me for the big stuff. Let the, let your other children do the little stuff." That's little stuff. You calling 15 states over for me to make a phone call? You, you, you can't get one of your other children to do that? I feel my mama is my responsibility. Me. Okay, and you said, you said that because why? You're the firstborn? I've always felt that. that that's, my mama is my responsibility. She was my mama before she was their mama. Okay. That's how I feel. But you're a middle child, though. I'm a baby. Oh, you're the baby. That's right. Oh, wow. I am the baby. Oh, so this is why we have different feelings about that. And I think that what happens is parents rely on the ones that they know that they can count on. Right. That's true. Well, I don't mind. I personally don't mind. I don't either. Because that's my mama. Correct. Girl, just don't call me and send me no text. Somebody's it's important. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> girl, you just at the nail salon. <laughs> oh, you the baby, Craig. Yes. Oh, uh, okay. So that's why you, okay. But here's what I'm noticing. Even in my friendships, my friends who are fags. Uh-huh. And, and Are you talking about the F- FAGs? <laughs> the FAGs. Oh, you're talking about the FAGs and the trainees. And the trainees. Okay. All have this same story. Is that because we're single and don't have children, they the, the siblings, my siblings, their siblings, seem to think that, well, since you're the one that's the fag and you ain't got no family, why don't you just go ahead and step up and take care of everything? Because I got a family. It's like they just nominate you. Well, I feel like it should be a collective. She's my mother just like she's your mother. That's true. And I live in a whole nother state. And there's two of y'all right there with her. Why I why I got to send her Uber Eats? Well, because you're the fag, Greg. That's why. Well, you better get you a gay son or daughter. Because I'm gonna tell you, it ain't nothing like having a having a queer child. Because I'm gonna take she, care of my mama until it's it. Well, why? And your and you know your mom might feel that you're the most like somebody said in the comments might feel like you're the most responsible. That's always what it is. Maybe, but I'm gonna take care of my mama to to, 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 to that's it's that's it that's all for me. Correct. Me too. Me you, too. You know. But it's like sometimes I need I just need a breather. Every now and then I just need a breather. <laughs> Don't do Gladys like that, girl. No, no, not Gladys. <laughs> I'm talking about my sister and brother. <laughs> Girl, y'all are 14, 13, and 14 years older than me. Well, what do you want them to do? Go step up. And do what, Craig? Tell me. Take charge sometimes. Let me not think. Sometimes I don't want to think. I don't want to have to figure it out. I don't want to have to reach into my change purse. Well, she's your mother, Craig. Oh, I get it. But sometimes they, they, can, they can step up, too. Basically, don't give you all the responsibility. But Correct. You, you can't be thinking about what they doing. Because this, I, I feel that that was my mama before. I get it. Th- it was, this, there was any of their mama. They well, don't, well, they don't. Well, well, if that's the philosophy, that she was their mama before she was mine. <laughs> <laughs> why, why, why is she ringing my cellular device? <laughs> why is she ringing my cellular device? And we're going to go off of that. <laughs> Girl, you got two other children you need to reach out before you get to me. <laughs> well, Craig, it's because you're a fag. But wait, didn't you say somebody called you the other day and asked you for something? Or what was it? Listen, when those Florida numbers call me, <laughs> you get ghosts. Bitch, I don't even, I have those on restrict. Are you serious? All those Florida numbers, when I see 754, 305, 305 786, 9, bitch, I don't. All those Florida numbers. Wait, now what? What else? Nine that? five four. <laughs> anything from Florida, even a seven two seven number, <laughs> Girl, bitch. All that Florida, I I don't pay it because it could be my dad, and he's getting absolutely nothing. nothing. <laughs> mm-hmm. I know mm-hmm. that was coming. <laughs> and see, um, 
I don't have a problem answering the phone because they don't call me and ask me for nothing. Mm-mm. I don't know what I don't know if they are. Cause see, I don't have no problem saying no. <laughs> I don't got no problem saying no either. But I also don't want to hear about what's going on down there either. Girl, every time I get on the phone with Gladys Christine Stewart, she telling me whose power is off. <laughs> <laughs> Who ain't got no groceries? You know why she's doing that? Girl, why? Because she's a fag, too. Oh. Correct. <laughs> a popular hot ass gossip. And she's gossiping with you about the right. team. Right, right, right. <laughs> Sometimes I be like, girl, I didn't had a rough day. I don't want to hear about those problems. <laughs> like, girl, well, you know it's the winter time and such and such ain't got no power, ain't got no heat. Girl, I, listen. Oh, my gosh. I ain't got it. Not for that. Do you do you deny? Listen, my brothers don't ask me for nothing though, and I, I sometimes I just be like, "Well, girl, if I hear them saying they're going through some stuff, like, well, why y'all didn't call my phone, or why you didn't call me?" I don't have a problem with real needs. If it's a real need, a real need, not a want, a need, a real need. Craig, my baby, I want to send my baby to this school and da da da. I want to put my baby in this program and da da da. Girl, don't be calling me for the basics and the, the essentials, the shit you should be providing your damn self. But Craig, maybe they don't have the colors, the color scheme. The what? The color, the color scheme of? Of how to be a fag. <laughs> oh. Well, clearly. Maybe it's because they color in the, in the parameters. But you know what's interesting? And I think I've said this here before. I was called a sissy fag and a punk by family before I was ever called a nigger by somebody out in the streets. But, but, but some of these family members are the same ones that's trying to get in this fag's purse. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Reaching into this fag's purse. Girl, this potato's good. Baby, celebrating this fag's success. Cook, Craig, these potatoes are so good. Girl, the potatoes are good. <laughs> this fish is amazing. They want some of that fag money. <laughs> That was their go-to when we were children, sissy. Oh, okay. Well, you know, money doesn't have you know money doesn't have color or sexuality. So, so when it comes to money, there's no there's no restrictions on that. Mm-hmm. We do have some stories for y'all, though. We just had to get that off our chat. <laughs> but that's interesting that you say that, Craig, because we're going to move, we're going to segue into something when, mm-hmm. you, when you said that you were called a sissy a fag sissy and a punk before you were called a nigga that's right i don't think they really absorbed that. i don't think they did either i don't it, think they absorbed that because home is supposed to be the your family and your home is supposed to be your safe space and i think that and see this is why just to kind of t- tie in the Billy Porters of the world and now girl you had that woman up under my post I saw that you that, was, that you, was her way of letting us know that she saw that that was she wanted you to know that she saw us talking us talking about her teeth that was you wearing her teeth I was like Craig no <laughs> Craig you was tearing her teeth up we were <laughs> <laughs> we were oh you're not gonna let you're not gonna uh-uh this is a partnership, bitch. <laughs> we in this together. You and me shall never part. Maki Data. <laughs> Billy was down there on that Instagram the other day. He was. But my thing is, home is supposed to be that safe space, that safe place, your family. No, we're going we, we gonna to go back to that. But we, we just oh, no. Billy. Go ahead, go ahead. What you want to say? B- B- Billy said, did you, did you need to see me? <laughs> Mind you, he don't even follow her on Instagram. No, he had unfollowed me a while back. And then when he wrote that under that, I was like, oh. You chew that fish like chewing gum. <laughs> <laughs> I said, oh. Okay. And I said to her, I said, you want me to go under there and like it, like his comment? I said, sure. <laughs> go ahead. I said, go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> and also, Don Lemon came under yours. Don Lemon followed me on Instagram. Don Lemon came. So please believe that Fact Talks, Fact Talk is seen at her. Everywhere. Everywhere. <laughs> Thank you, TikTok. <laughs> Since we talk about the TikTok, right. man. Because, baby, they, we all over TikTok. Bitch. Uh. 
And so I was like, okay. Could someone please pass me a paper towel? No, I haven't seen Billy Porter up on any of the things for me for a long since polls first had started. Mm-hmm. You know, then she unfollowed me. Like out of the <laughs> blue. Like one day I was like, well, damn, I love sus. What what happened? And I had never said anything foul about her, nothing. I just was unfollowed. And so I did I I followed suit. I did the same thing. I unfollowed her too. Oh, so you tip for tat. Bitch, don't play with me. <laughs> <laughs> so you tip for tat. I'm very much so don't play with me. <laughs> and I want to say this. Uh-huh. And I want to say this with conviction. Uh-huh. I've, I've, I admire all of those girls that are Hollywood, that are way more Hollywood than me, that are that are superstars in Hollywood than me. But when they go, when, it's, when things start trickling down and things start happening, mm-hmm. I'm like, sis, you have to be in the, you have to be in the trenches. Come on. I'm never going to be over there trying to figure out how it's going to be paid or done because, bitch, I have a connection with my fan base. I'm not playing a character on television. I'm, I'm T.S. Madison is the character. And see, a lot of them don't and, know how to use their social media. Hold on. Let me let me tell y'all up. It's a lot of you pussy ass hoes that I'll never name by name that have been trying to trick me out of my spot, telling me if I'm so this and so, so much of a star, if I'm this, why am I on YouTube? It's because this is my core base. I can go all, I can walk across the Emmy stage. I can walk across the Grammys carpet. I can walk across, bitch, the Tonys, the Oscars. Bitch, I could sit in the room with RuPaul, Jennifer Lewis, bitch, and every superstar in the world. But when I'm done, I'm coming back to the motherfucking core of how it happened for me. I'm not above or beyond. And that's why I respond to a lot of y'all, to to, to bitches talking about me and saying things to me because I'm not above or beyond. Mm -hmm. And what y'all never going to do is trick me out of my motherfucking spot. That's right. To tell me if you're so grand, if you're still doing, I am grand and I am doing all of this and all of that. But I am going to log on to my motherfucking YouTube because this is my this is mine. Who said this? This is mine right here. <laughs> mm-hmm. All of that other stuff out there in the world, I tiptoe into that, honey, and walk in those spaces. I tiptoe and walk into all of, to those spaces, bitch. And listen, and I think what happens is when those girls become superstars. In those lanes, they lose their connection. They do to their core audience, to the they core, do. like up uh, mo uh, Already. to the core, like they Go like ahead, okay. They 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 don't they they have left their core audience, mm-hmm. and these people fall in love with the character that they play <laughs> right. and don't know anything about them. And then when that character is off the air, and it is because. You're a, you're a, here's the thing. But, but, but when that character is off the air, <laughs> you're crazy. <laughs> <laughs> and it is because your publicist, mm-hmm. your <clears throat> your management, you just have told you, uh, uh-uh, uh, get off of your social media. You can't talk to those people. You can't talk to those. Get off of that. You need to be untouchable. You need to be, bitch. You can't touch me, and I'm gonna be right on line with you. I'm a, you ain't gonna be able to touch me. And I'm gonna be right on the motherfucking line with you. So when people be saying, "Don't respond," this this is the world. I'm in this area. I'm in this section. Mm-hmm. I'm not above this. Some things I may respond to. Some things I may not. You feel me? But at the beginning, middle, and end of the day, I think that when when those people be going through those things, and Daniva, speaking of the Daniva, we will be seeing Daniva later on today. Uh huh. When Daniva. When Daniva and I have private conversations, and just because y'all don't see me and Daniva talking every day, all day on the line, listen, me and Daniva talk all the time. Mm-hmm. And when you see Daniva and I have these conversations, I, I, I said, Daniva, the reason why these girls we feel in some type of way is because they want to chop off our, our supply system. Listen. And you can't chop off a supply system of something that we created. <clears throat> That's right. 